Hi guys, welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. Um, I just wanted to start this video. This is going to be a multi uh, session video for me because of my uh, timing with what I've got going on. But anyway, so I wanted to share. I started to collage this window envelope and I only had two things so I need to get some like music paper or do something different to take up the rest of that white space on this but I thought I don't know how I'm gonna use it but anyway I liked how it was coming out and I used a piece of book page on it and then um <clears throat> well I guess I should say hello I hope everybody's doing well and thank you for joining me but I usually say that at the end so that's probably gonna be a repeat but <laughs> anyway so I was digging around in my stuff, you know, I'm trying to sort through my things and kind of downsize some stuff. And I found this letterhead that I have. And um, anyway, it doesn't say, I mean, it's just geographic uh, something letterhead, geo paper letterhead. And I picked this up, I don't know where, I've had it forever. But I was like, oh, those colors work really well. So this is what I'm going to use for additional pages in the journal because it's cohesive and it will be cohesive throughout. So even though my red food coloring is a little bit of a different pink, that's okay because like if we go with the Cheshire Cat, that pink is perfect and that pink is perfect. So we're I'm going to go with it. I think it's a great match and a great find. And I was actually looking for something else and I was like, well, this doesn't belong there where I found it. But I was like, those colors are absolutely perfect. So problem solved. I am going to have to cut it down a little bit. I'm probably, I'm just gonna take a quarter inch off of each edge. Um, so that way it's eight inches versus eight and a half inches. So that's gonna be our additional pages. Okay, I have another one of the images that I just haven't fussy cut yet. And then I've shown you this. It's just my pile of stuff I carried upstairs and I'm gonna carry some of it back downstairs. Um, these are some sticky notes my friend got me. They're so funny. I just love them. But anyway, there's a couple books I had written on there that I wanted to um, order, but they're only available in the UK. So to get them to the United States is quite expensive. So I'll not be getting those. Sorry, those pages were for the other project I'm working on that I cannot film. Anyway, okay, so... Um, pink paper, talked about that. This, oh, this is what I wanted to tell you is this note that was in this paper that I'm using. This is the note that the young lady included in the, uh, thing with the paper. Tea Party, Craftsmith, Michaels, Hot Buy. So if you like these papers that I'm using, the scrapbook papers, that's what it's called. And it is um, a Hot Buy pad from Michaels. And then I'll just kind of show you what's left um, and some of the papers that I didn't use. And <clears throat> I'm, I'm so bad. I told you guys there's Paisley paper in here and I totally love it and I want to keep it. <laughs> and I really need to just make myself use it. But anyway, that just really felt like the colors were good. I'm not crazy about this one. Um, but I might make a journaling card or something out of it. It's just super busy. Which is really funny because this is too. But I used one of these prints on one of the signature colors. But anyway. So these are just the papers that are left. That I obviously have not cut into. And I think this will be fun. I'm going to cut this in strips and maybe make some pockets. Or just even, you know, for... We'll use those to embellish some things for sure. This is another one that I'm not crazy about, but I think I'm gonna fussy cut these flowers and use the flowers, but that gold, it's kind of scratched up and I'm just not, not a big fan. Anyway, in these cut aparts, uh, we might be able to use a couple of these, um, like time for a cup of tea, that's perfect. And um, the little journaling card here and here we can use. And dream big, I think that's appropriate with this because she was dreaming, right? Anyway, okay, so see, here's a paisley, this pink paisley. I just think it's so pretty. And then this, and I can use this, but um, it will cut some of the pink flower off in order to get the butterfly in height-wise. And then there's the red paisley. So that, in, 
in um, addition to the pages that I've already used in the journal are the pages that, that she sent me as part of the her de-stash. So I wanted to share that with you in case you, again, in case you um, liked the papers and you wanted to know what they were called. So that's that. Okay. Okay, so that's that. I think when I come back, it will be... I think I'm going to take this tag base and um, back it with some dyed paper and I think I'm going to decoupage some napkin on it so that way we've got a couple tags we can work with. Um, but I'll think about that and make a decision. So again, this is a multi-part video and um, go through that with you. I also have this paper pad that I think some of these pages, the colors will work really well. So I'm trying to gather materials because you know I said I don't have really things gathered because I changed gears. Um, so yeah, that's that. So we'll figure it out. But anyway, and then I'm like, do I take the other book apart and make some ephemera pieces out of the little golden book or do I save it because I mean it's duplicate images and all of these images are obviously because we're using the book and then this one see, I keep these and use them till they are absolutely disgusting anyway and this one I do love the images but it's a different I don't know it's a different feel and vibe in this one so I don't know that I'm going to cut that one apart either. I know. I'm all over the place. So hopefully I'll have a little bit of time to think about this. And um, when I come back, I'll be a little clearer with my plan. It's just evolving and I'm switching gears so much. Oh, look at this napkin. I had a lady in my buy some sets of Christmas napkins from my Etsy. And so I was um, putting that order together yesterday and I found this napkin and I thought well how perfect is that to incorporate so we're going to do something with this as well okay well that's it for now I'll be back in a little bit or later or tomorrow I'm not sure <laughs> we'll get a little bit more done I'll, I'll, I'll kind of clear my head maybe a little bit and figure out what we're going to do next so I'll see you in a bit Hi guys. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. And I honestly, this is uh, Thursday. So I have not had an opportunity to be in my craft room. And so I am going to take a minute here. And um, obviously for you, it will be the same video. But I was trying to clean up at least a two foot space of my table while I had a few minutes to steal away and do this. And um, I, honestly, I just have such a mess. I can't even think right now. I really need, I need some, an organizational person to come in here and help me like organize my supplies and make little spots. So here's what we're going to do with this though. Sorry for the hands. I'm, I, so I have this pile of scraps, right? I have been... <coughs> Um, just throwing them kind of in a pile here. Things that are loose in the way that I'm like tired of moving them. I'm going to pitch them if I don't do something with them, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some probably Mod Podge and I'm going to glue my scraps down on this piece of, um, it's a double-sided cardstock and it's not a print I'm ever going to use for anything. So it's a great use for things like that. And so I'm just going to continue to pick up scraps that are laying here and I'm going to glue this base down and give us some texture, some dimension, and then I'll come back and um, when I come back it will be with some paint colors. I think I'm going to do paints on this because the acrylic will be steadfast and um, this will allow us to have some tag bases. So I'm going to dig through my acrylic paints. I'm going to look at blues and greens and and uh, maybe pink and um, just see what we can come up with for colors that kind of match the pages that we're working with. So I'll be back. So I looked in my paints and I think what I'm going to start with are these distress paints that I got in that... Um, mystery uh, kit from Ranger. I don't know if you guys saw that video. So anyway, this is Cracked Pistachio, Abandoned Coral, and Mermaid Lagoon, which is really fun because we have 
all these colors in the Distress ink as well that I got with my Christmas gift card. So I'm gonna play with those. I have my white gesso, and um, so I I would imagine there's just gonna be some texture paste and maybe some crackle paint as well. As a matter of fact, I should get the crackle paint out because I already know I wanna do that. So I'm gonna get some texture put on here with the pages and um, and I'm just gonna tear them and glue them down. And then once it's all glued down, then I'll come back, see what we have, and then um, go from there. So this is just a way to clean up some scraps off the desk that I'm tired of moving around. So yeah, okay, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, so I've got my glue here, and I'll tell you that this is Friday. I'm having the worst time getting up here with my schedule and just life and just everything, but it's okay. We're going to get through this. And um, oh, this job I'm working, I told you guys, was temporary and it was supposed to be over today, but they've extended it, which is totally fine, but it just... I wasn't mentally prepared for them to do that. And um, I was mentally prepared for today to be the end of this temporary assignment. So <clears throat> anyway, there's that. Um, so I just have some just scraps and bits and uh, even an envelope I got in the mail that I tore up because I like the paper. I told you guys I was trying to clean off my desk and I don't care so much about the... Um, colors or textures or whatever of the paper that I'm using because we are going to be painting over this and <clears throat> just so happens that I watched a video last night and this morning I finished it. It's one of Gail Agostinelli's videos on painting paper and it was so much fun. I just like, I mean, I watched it um, fast forward and um, but anyway, it was just really cool, like the effects and stuff that she was getting. So I enjoyed that process and it kind of inspired me. I really wanted to get in here and play this morning. Um, hopefully you can see. <clears throat> I am. Um, I opened my um, Matte Mod Podge and it is just, I need to water it down. I haven't used it in a really long time. So it needs watered down and um, so this is the leftover watered down um, Scholastic Blue, I think is what it's called. I'd have to look. It's that glue I got on clearance at Office Depot when they were closing. And it was like $1.50 for the whole big thing. So that was a really good price, I felt like. And... So anyway, since it was already watered down and I didn't have to fuss with it and my time is limited this morning, I'm just going to go with it. And because of what we're doing with this, I'm not too concerned about anything. And it is warping my paper because of the water content, but that's okay as well because this is a double-sided piece of paper. We're going to have to back it anyway. So it's not going to hurt anything. I have zero rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm literally just sticking down these bits and scraps. So I'm just going to continue until I get the whole thing covered. And then uh, come back and see what we've got. And I'm going to have to find some more bits to tear up because I just don't have enough here. But that's okay as well. And I think this is the only one I'm going to do like this because I saw, like I said, I watched Gail's video and I have an idea based on inspiration from her. So thank you, Gail, for the inspiration. And um, I am going to do that in the next bit. So the rest of this video is really just gonna be working on background pieces um, to make tags and pockets and what have you. And I think it's just gonna be fun and vibrant and bright for the most part, but I do think I wanna do one kind of um, darker and a little more aged feeling because of the spin that I'm going to do on the other Alice journals. So remember, we're going to have two Alice journals going on. So, okay. And now I'm just floundering for bits here and fussing because I've got some texture pieces that I definitely want to be on top. So let me just finish this and I'll be back. So in an effort to maintain my <coughs> creative flow and my mental sanity because I'm feeling rushed because I do have to go work here in just a little bit. 
I've decided that I'm just going to be more messy with this. And it's kind of freeing. It's kind of fun. And um, I don't mind it one bit, actually. So I'm just sticking them on here. And I don't care if I don't get every little bit of the pink covered. Because, again, we're going to be... Um, painting over the top of this and this layer is really just for some texture and so we're just sticking them down there's no rhyme or reason I'm allowing myself to just have a little bit of freedom and um yeah so you know get some scraps get a piece of paper get your glue and get your bits glued down however it is that it makes you happy oh that's fun that ink smeared from the address on the envelope oh i like that anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm actually gonna call this video done because i'm sure you guys all think i fell off the face of the earth again <clears throat> and um, then in the next video, which I will either start later today or in the morning, hopefully later today, because I want to get some backgrounds made so that we can get back to put in the journal together. Um, so we'll get some, oh, look at that's going to be a fun texture piece. So definitely want that to be like on top somewhere. And I have these two that I punched when I made the buttons in the Christmas ephemera, Defemera Amber series. And, um, so that's going to give us some fun texture on this as well. So anyway, yeah, I want to get back to filming and get this journal worked on. And I've been kind of toying with some ideas. and um, But nothing set in stone because you know it's an evolution when I do these things. And I'll decide one thing and then I'm like, oh, squirrel. And I end up going a totally different direction. Which is what happened, as you already know, with the Stamperia pad. I've just decided that I'm going to do something different with that. So that's going to be fun, and um, we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to get this all glued down. I'm going to let it dry, and um, then in the next video when we come back, it will be the start of the uh, actual painting and um, using some texture paste and stencils, and we'll just see what we come up with. And then this we'll cut up and we'll use for tags and pockets and um, stuff like that so that we'll have some fun colors and just dimension to work with, but hopefully not too, too bulky because we don't want a lot of bulk. And I think I'm going to, well, not on this one, but you know I like to play with the napkin bits too because that gives us good dimension. So anyway, okay, so go get your base started and I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.